His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa affirmed Saudi Arabia's honorable stances led by the custodian of the two holy mosques King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud in protecting Islam and maintaining the nation's security and stability. His Royal Highness affirmed Saudi Arabia's ability to protect the Saudi people as well as the Arab and Islamic nations and prayed Allah the Almighty to assist the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in all its efforts regarding maintaining security and stability in the Kingdom and in Arab and Islamic countries. The Kingdom of Bahrain reiterates its principled unflinching position in solidarity with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and all the necessary deterrent measures it takes to confront terrorism and extremism. It affirms that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is the pillar of the Arab and Islamic security and the role it plays under the rule of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, is an essential and vital role for the stability of the region and the world as a whole and for the settlement of global crises topped by terrorism. Bahrain affirms that enforcing the sentences against the convicted individuals whose crimes have been proved with tangible evidence is a necessary step to preserve the security and safety of all the Saudi people and the residents on the Saudi territory and deter to anyone, anybody who dares a saw sedition, spur unrest or play havoc with the stability and security of Saudi Arabia. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, affirmed the right of Saudi Arabia to maintain its security and stability and in combating criminal and terrorist acts. He expressed support and solidarity with the Kingdom of, of the Kingdom of Bahrain, with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, praising the great efforts undertaken by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Considering that the security of Saudi Arabia is the security of the Arab and Islamic nation as a whole. Al Mullah said that Gulf Legislative Councils affirmed on the security of the Gulf Cooperation Council, paying tribute to the leading role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its efforts in ensuring the security and stability of the region and in support of Arab, Islamic, and international action in the fight against terrorism. The Interior Ministry of Bahrain affirmed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's right to take the appropriate measures it sees to ensure its security and stability. Therefore, all legal measures will be taken against any negative dealing toward the action taken by Saudi Arabia, including issuing negative statements with regard to the judicial verdict issues by Saudi Arabia, as this is considered part of the instigation, sedition and threat to the public peace. Article 215 of the criminal law states that anyone who tries to insult a foreign country or international organization that has a headquarter in Bahrain will be subject to a two-year imprisonment or a 200 Bahraini dinar fine. This in addition to anyone who would insult the flag or official logo of that country. The Ministry of Interior will not accept any interference in the judicial system verdict of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia or any brotherly or friendly country. The Ministry of Interior will not hesitate to take any measure towards interfering in the sovereignty affair of the GCC countries and anyone found doing so will be subjected to legal action. The Ministry of Interior also calls for adhering to the law and not to use the social network to spread rumors that target the national security and peace. Anyone found doing so will face a two-year imprisonment or 200 Bahraini dinar fine as per Article 168 of Bahrain Punishment Law. The Ministry of Interior reiterated its support for the security measures taken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in combating criminal and terrorist acts, as this comes amid the strong historic relations linking the leadership and the people of the two countries.